In this lesson, we're going to update our navigation menu to be fully bootstrap ready and responsive via bootstrap. So we're going to get rid of some of our styling that we had been working on earlier and just simply contain the bootstrap information. So I'm going to go down into the style sheet because just like the previous example, whenever we're making changes to our HTML code and we're adjusting how our menu is being presented, we also need to make adjustments to how we're presenting our CSS. So we won't need this anymore. We're going to leave the FA bars for the font awesome bars so that we get a fairly good size on them because we do need to have some kind of context there uh, menu. Uh, there's an option within Bootstrap as well to do that. We don't need the SM uh, screen anymore. We don't need the side menu or actually no, we do need the side menu but we don't need the mini bar. We don't need any of these nav options. So this can all be simply removed out and it's cleaned up quite a bit of what we're doing within our media screen and now we're ready to start adjusting our CSS. We can also take, take a quick look at the website and it's not really functioning well without that CSS. So let's make some updates and changes within our website now. Uh, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to update so we're going to have nav as containing the logo and the company information because with Bootstrap it gives us the ability to pull all of that information over. We no longer need to identify this as the nav bar because we've got all of that information that we were originally using. We no longer need to make containers there. So with Bootstrap it's got a built-in class called nav bar and then it's got additional styling for the navbar. So this is what I'm adding in here where I'm typing in navbar to let it know that it's a navigation bar and then here it's setting the additional look and feel of the navbar and we're just going to go with the default one for now. So just like we had our class container there we also need to add in some additional classes and with Bootstrap it's just a series of classes that you're adding in and this helps Bootstrap understand how you want to position different elements on your website. That's where we need to bring in divs and with Bootstrap you need to bring in quite a few of them in order to get your website looking exactly the way that you want. So with container fluid this gives us the ability to have a container that goes entirely across the entire web space there. So I'm gonna just, this should actually be container fluid. So different than container, container fluid gives us 100% width, the full available block section. Now we need to add in another div here and this one is gonna have a class of navbar header. And this, again, this helps Bootstrap understand what we, want, how, what we want this particular element and how we want to represent it within our code. So navbar header. And then next, we need to set up a button or something to be toggled when it gets clicked uh, that we're going we're gonna to fire off that Bootstrap function. So let's create that right now as well. And we're going to just do button type and type is a button and then the class so this is an important part uh, where we need to specify that this is a nav bar toggle so this is a, a class but it's also going to help us help bootstrap understand how we want to use this particular element and we want to use it as collapsed so that's the type of navigation bar so collapsed bar and we need to add in data toggle. So this helps jQuery understand uh, even more information of what we want to do and how we want to utilize this. So we can type do data toggle and we want to make it a collapsible menu. And then data target. So this is also extremely important because we need to target what we want to collapse. And we ideally we're going to collapse everything in this UL list. So we're going to target navbar, and there's our navbar uh, ID that we're going to reuse again. So that's uh, the button, and then within the button, we need to have some kind of uh, some kind of characters there. Uh, so it could be any other any characters you want, but I'm going to use the same one we used in the mini menu there, and save that part. 
So now, whenever we go to the web page, let's see what's happening now. So we're still not looking proper because we haven't added in all of the styling. So that's the important thing about Bootstrap is we really do need to add in all of the styling. And typically with your menu here, so we've got our navbar header. And we know that this is part of the navbar header. So uh, we've got our logo and all of that there. Uh, next, going to create another div, and this is going to get the ID navbar. So notice that it's tying it together with the target here uh, using the ID. And class, we need to specify what we want the class to be. So the class is going to be nav. So it's a navigation bar. So Bootstrap understands that. And navbar nav and we can pull the nav bar over to the right or left. So we're gonna do a right navigation bar. And with Bootstrap, there are a bunch of options uh, for setting the different navigation bars. So let's save that and add in. So actually, I got the class wrong here. We need to add this class in to this U unordered list. And we need to actually update this to navbar collapse. So again, more uh, bootstrap styling. So this has to be navbar collapse because that uh, is the option that we we chose and the menu class is gonna be collapse. So let's take a look at this now. I'm gonna refresh the page and see what's happening now. So we see that whenever we're resizing, so it is slightly working, but we need to still get rid of some additional styling because it's kind of working, but it's not outputting it properly. So there are some additional options that we do need to make updates here. And typically with Bootstrap, so this would typically be an href, so it would be linking somewhere. So I'm gonna just style this as we normally would in Bootstrap. And I do need to get rid of that logo there. So let's save this now and uh, tweak it a little bit more. So let's see how this looks now. So opening up that window, I can close down that one. And we can see that it is starting to look more like a menu that we want to present, but it's still not opening and closing. And that's because we still have some additional styling that we've got to get rid of within our, within our build. So typically you wouldn't build out all these navigation bar settings and then update them. Uh, you would simply uh, not include them because Bootstrap would be handling all of that information. Uh, so now when we go out to our website and if we refresh it, we can see that now we've got a working menu, uh, except it's not clicking. So we still need to add that functionality in, but we do have the company name there and we have the menu uh, that's collapsing and open. It's not opening yet, but uh, it is showing as a typical navigation menu when we're resizing. And then we've got our company name and our logo information, which can sit there on the left-hand side. So in the next lesson, we're going to finish off and make some additional updates so we can open our closing menu and finalize this menu on our website built via Bootstrap.